Chapter 4 And now, Israel, hearken unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I am teaching you to do, so that ye live, and have gone in, and possessed the land which Jehovah God of your fathers is giving to you. Ye do not add to the word which I am commanding you, nor diminish from it, to keep the commands of Jehovah your God which I am commanding you. Your eyes are seeing that which Jehovah hath done in Baal Peor, for every man who hath gone after Baal Peor, Jehovah thy God hath destroyed him from thy midst. And ye who are cleaving to Jehovah your God are alive, all of you today. See, I have taught you statutes and judgments, as Jehovah my God hath commanded me, to do so in the midst of the land whither ye are going in to possess it. And ye have kept and done them, for it is your wisdom and your understanding, before the eyes of the peoples who hear all these statutes. And they have said, Only a people wise and understanding is this great nation. For which is the great nation that hath God near unto it as Jehovah our God, in all we have called unto him? And which is the great nation which hath righteous statutes and judgments, according to all this law which I am setting before you today? Only take heed to thyself, and watch thy soul exceedingly, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they turn aside from thy heart all days of thy life, and thou hast made them known to thy sons and to thy sons' sons. The day when thou hast stood before Jehovah thy God in Horeb, in Jehovah saying unto me, Assemble to me the people, and I cause them to hear my words, so that they learn to fear me all the days that they are alive on the ground, and their sons they teach. And ye draw near and stand under the mountain, and the mountain is burning with fire unto the heart of the heavens, darkness, cloud, yea, thick darkness. And Jehovah speaketh unto you out of the midst of the fire, a voice of words ye are hearing, and a similitude ye are not seeing, only a voice. And he declareth to you his covenant, which he hath commanded you to do, the ten matters, and he writeth them upon two tables of stone. And me hath Jehovah commanded at that time to teach you statutes and judgments, for your doing them in the land whither ye are passing over to possess it. And ye have been very watchful of your souls, for ye have not seen any similitude in the day of Jehovah's speaking unto you in Horeb, out of the midst of the fire, lest ye do corruptly, and have made to you a graven image, a similitude of any figure, a form of male or female, a form of any beast which is in the earth, a form of any winged bird which flieth in the heavens, a form of any creeping thing on the earth, a form of any fish which is in the waters under the earth. And lest thou lift up thine eyes towards the heavens, and hast seen the sun, and the moon, and the stars, all the host of the heavens, and thou hast been forced, and hast bowed thyself to them, and served them, which Jehovah thy God hath apportioned to all the peoples under the whole heavens. And you hath Jehovah taken, and he is bringing you out from the iron furnace, from Egypt, to be to him for a people, and inheritance as at this day. And Jehovah hath shewed himself wroth with me because of your words, and sweareth to my not passing over the Jordan, and to my not going in unto the good land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, an inheritance. For I am dying in this land. I am not passing over the Jordan, and ye are passing over, and have possessed this good land. Take heed to yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of Jehovah your God which he hath made with you, and have made to yourselves a graven image, a similitude of anything concerning which Jehovah thy God hath charged thee. For Jehovah thy God is a fire-consuming, a zealous God. When thou begettest sons and sons' sons, and ye have become old in the land, and have done corruptly, and have made a graven image, a similitude of anything, and have done the evil thing in the eyes of Jehovah to provoke him to anger, I have caused to testify against you this day the heavens and the earth, that ye do perish utterly hastily from off the land whither ye are passing over the Jordan to possess it. Ye do not prolong days upon it, but are utterly destroyed, and Jehovah hath scattered you among the peoples, and ye have been left few in number among the nations whither Jehovah leadeth you, and ye have served their gods, work of man's hands, wood and stone which see not, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell, 
and ye have sought from thence jehovah thy god and hast found when thou seekest him with all thy heart and with all thy soul in distress being to thee and all these things have found thee in the latter end of the days and thou hast turned back unto jehovah thy god and hast hearkened to his voice for a merciful god is jehovah thy god he doth not fail thee nor destroy thee nor forget the covenant of thy fathers which he hath sworn to them for ask i pray thee at the former days which have been before thee from the day that god prepared man on the earth and from the one end of the heavens even unto the other end of the heavens whether there hath been as this great thing or hath been heard like it hath a people heard the voice of god speaking out of the midst of the fire as thou hast heard thou and doth live or hath god tried to go in to take to himself a nation from the midst of a nation by trials by signs and by wonders and by war and by a strong hand and by a stretched out arm and by great terrors according to all that jehovah your god hath done to you in egypt before your eyes thou thou hast been shewn it to know that jehovah he is god there is none else besides him from the heavens he hath caused thee to hear his voice to instruct thee and on earth he hath shewed thee his great fire and his words thou hast heard out of the midst of the fire and because that he hath loved thy fathers he doth also fix on their seed after them and doth bring thee out in his presence by his great power from egypt to dispossess nations greater and stronger than thou from thy presence to bring thee in to give to thee their land an inheritance as at this day and thou hast known to-day and hast turned it back unto thy heart that jehovah he is god in the heavens above and on the earth beneath there is none else and thou hast kept his statutes and his commands which i am commanding thee to-day so that it is well to thee and to thy sons after thee and so that thou prolongest days on the ground which jehovah thy god is given to thee all the days then moses separated three cities beyond the jordan towards the sunrising for the fleeing thither of the manslayer who slayeth his neighbour unknowingly and he is not hating him heretofore and he hath fled unto one of these cities and he hath lived bezer in the wilderness in the land of the plain of the reubenite and ramoth in gilead of the gadite and goan in bashan of the manassehite and this is the law which moses hath set before the sons of israel these are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which moses hath spoken unto the sons of israel in their coming out of egypt beyond the jordan in the valley over against beth peor in the land of sihon king of the amorite who is dwelling in heshbon whom moses and the sons of israel have smitten in their coming out of egypt and they possess his land in the land of og king of bashan two kings of the amorite who are beyond the jordan towards the sunrising from aroer which is by the edge of the brook arnon even unto mount sion which is hermon and all the plain beyond the jordan eastward even unto the sea of the plain under the springs of pisgah